All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back. Hello. How are you? There was a shoe on my stove. Don't know why. My husband's glasses. Babe, you want your glasses? There you go. You're welcome. All right. We're trying a new recipe today. And actually, the recipe I'm following but also not following is um, called Asian Steak Roll-Ups? Asian Steak Wraps? I don't know. I don't know. But I, I'm not using the whole recipe. I will put the recipe for that down below. So basically, you're supposed to take red bell peppers, squash, and zucchini... Um, saute them up and then wrap some. You're supposed to get some skirt steak and slice it up, but I'm not using skirt steak. We'll get to that. Um, I'm also not rolling it up and frying it. I'm just going to saute the vegetables and throw the steak in there and fry it up. Because I have kids, it's easier to eat that way for them. Uh, so, and I'm also not using zucchini or squash. Did I already say that? Look, we're staying true to the brand here. Open cabinets. I'm not shutting them either. Anyway, so let me turn you around. I'm also making fried rice. Now, I have a video. I don't think it's dedicated to fried rice, but I do have a video where I make fried rice in the video. So, if you guys... I need to look. If I don't have a dev... I, I'm going to put an iCard and a link in the description to whatever video I have of me making fried rice in depth. Um, if it's not a dedicated video and you guys want a dedicated video to just fried rice... Let me know, and I can do that for you. I do know I have a request to make Nutella brownies. I'm going to do that maybe next week. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, maybe I'll do that for a Sunday fun day video because Sunday is my one-year YouTube birthday. So, anyways, let me turn you around and show you what we're going to need for just the steak and vegetables portion because, like I said, I'm not going to show you how to make the fried rice tonight. Okay. Let me flip you around. Okay, so for starters, the recipe calls for skirt steak. Now, this is made from bottom round steak, but it's just stir fry meat. It's already sliced, um, and it was roughly the same price as the skirt steak anyway. So, for convenience, I just did this. This is what I used to make stir fry, obviously. You need green onions. These are optional. Um, they're just for garnish. Along with sesame seeds being optional, they're just for garnish as well. I might actually throw some in with the saute and roast them up. We'll see. Um, you're going to need a Dijon mustard, some limes. The recipe calls for low sodium sea salt, or low sea salt, no, low sodium soy sauce. But this is what we like, and I wasn't going to buy low sodium just to keep it in the fridge and hardly ever use it. So I just got regular soy sauce. A little bit of brown sugar. It calls for two cloves of garlic, but you know how I feel about garlic. The more, the merrier. You'll need a little bit of olive oil. So it calls for red bell peppers, squash, and zucchini. I'm just going to use tricolor bell peppers because we don't like squash or zucchini. Um, and then it doesn't call for onion. I do need onion for my fried rice. So I'm debating if I want to put half this in here with the meat and half of it in with the fried rice. Or if I'm just going to put it in the fried rice, but I thought I would put it in here just in case. Also, you're going to need some cayenne pepper. All right, let me get you all on the tripod. We'll get started slicing things up and getting... Well, first got to put our meat in a bowl. Anyways, we'll get to it. All right, I'm going to get you all on the tripod and we're going to get started. All right, so first things first, we need a bowl. And I have a one cup measure. It says a cup of soy sauce. So, three fourths cup of brown sugar. We're gonna need the juice of two limes, and fun fact, Delson likes to lick these after I squeeze the juice out of them. I'm 
just going to do about a tablespoon of garlic in there. Maybe a smidge more. Okay. And then we also need, I should have shook this up, a tablespoon of Dijon. And then it calls for a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I'm just going to sprinkle some in there. That looks good. Um, okay, now we're just going to whisk this all together. Well, this is still just a teeny weensy bit frozen. That's all right, though. Once we get it pulled apart, it will pretty much instantly thaw out when we get it all. I'm just going to toss it around in here, make sure it's all nice and fully submerged. Now, you really should cover this. You really should cover this with plastic wrap, but I don't have any, so we're gonna do foil. And we're just gonna set this in the fridge for about 30 minutes while we get everything else ready. So now we're just going to chop up some peppers.
Alright, while I'm waiting for that meat to finish sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and get things ready for my fried rice and then we'll come back. Alright. Now we're going to add in this pan. You gotta open it first. A little bit of olive oil. Sorry for my noisy kids in the background. And we're just gonna dump our. I should have let that heat up. I don't even have it turned on, but it'll be fine.
going to grab the meat out of here with my hands. Give it a little shake. And this shouldn't take long now to cook. you guys I believe that is it that is all you have to do I'm gonna turn this off I'm gonna put it in a bowl and we're gonna eat dinner I'll let you know how it was all right you guys we just finished dinner and I'm just gonna be upfront and honest probably won't make that again at least not with brown sugar in it. I will have to find a different substitute because the brown sugar made the meat just a little bit too sweet for mine and my husband's liking. So the concept is good. The execution is not the best. So will I make this, this the exact same way again? Definitely not. But if you like sweeter meat, then you might like it, so try it. Alright, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I love you, and I'm praying for you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.